Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today I want to talk about another program I'd like to strongly recommend. It's called N-Lite. Some of the features about N-Lite. This is a product that allows you to recreate a Windows installation disk that's custom made uh, just for your purposes. These are some of the features. Uh, we can integrate service packs automatically into this so that you don't have to later install a service pack. Uh, we can remove components such as games, uh, uh, keyboards, languages, uh, things that uh, are not going to be needed. This can remove several hundreds of megs uh, from your installation. Uh, unattended setup. We can actually put the key code in here and have it uh, do an unattended setup where you don't have to have any user intervention. Uh, driver integration. We can integrate drivers, uh, uh, printer drivers or whatever. Hot fixes. We can integrate hot fixes, any of the Microsoft patches. Tweaks, there's a large number of tweaks that we can put in here. Uh, services, configuration, patches, and finally we can create a bootable uh, ISO so that we can recreate a new installation disk. This is a great little product, uh, strongly recommend it. Let me go to the uh, startup screen. Here we've got Welcome to Enlight. Uh, defaults to the English language. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next here. Uh, location. It's going to ask you where is Windows XP installation files. What you need to do is take your Windows XP installation disk, go ahead and copy all the files off of that installation disk into a directory, and I named my directory Windows XP. And then I went ahead and pointed to that. Hit next. Here. It's going to locate uh, those files. It found them. It's got Service Pack 3 installed automatically. Next, it's going to say available presets. Any presets you have? Next. Now here, here we got the service packs. Here are the different things you can select or unselect. We can go ahead and set all here. That way we'll put all of these into our distribution here. Next. Uh, it's going to say uh, select the service pack for integration. If there's no service pack that's come out, we can go ahead and integrate it this time. Next. Uh, hot fixes. Any hot fixes we can add at this point, at this point. Next here is drivers. Here we can go ahead and integrate any drivers that we might have. Uh, here is a, a nice selection. This is compatibility. If for some reason we're removing things, we want to make sure we don't remove things that's going to cause a problem for some of our devices. We go ahead and check this uh, so that we can maintain the functionality of that device. Okay. Uh, here's the big list, uh, applications, drivers, hardware support, keyboards. I like to go ahead and, on this one, remove all the keyboards. I don't need any of the keyboards except the U.S. keyboard. So I'll check that one. Also languages. It's going to go ahead and leave me the English language and leave me the U.S. keyboard. That Those two alone uh, will save you a couple of hundred megs. Um, I've stripped down my installations for my lab computers in my high school so that my installation of Windows XP is only about one point uh, about 1.2 gigs of data and compressing that down I can get that down to about 600 uh, megabytes and I can actually put my images on a CD so I can use a CD to reinstall images if I need to. This helps me to make both a faster installation and it's just easier to maintain and update. So next uh, here's where we can put our product key code in and we can go ahead and uh, set some other configurations. Next. Here's a, a large uh, list of things that we can go ahead and, and check, either enable or disable. Uh, here's various uh, registry tweaks that we can set. You can see this has a very large and extensive uh, configuration setup. And do you want to start the process? So we go ahead and click yes. It'll go ahead and start doing this process, removing all the components that you've asked it to remove, uh, processing the setup files. Next, I'll be integrating the drivers. So there's not any drivers we to integrate. It'll get through that very quickly. And now it's finalizing. And then once it's complete, it creates a new uh, ISO file that we can use to burn to a CD-ROM. And that's it. 
um, installation was reduced by 101 megabytes. So we've streamlined it down quite a bit. Again, there's more things we can take out. There's a lot of drivers and uh, other things that we can remove. It's a page where we can we, we can actually do a create an image and burn a new ISO. It says make ISO. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this next. And customization finished. That's it. This is another great little tool that uh, I use uh, for setting up customized installations of Windows XP on my lab computer so I can control uh, my installation. I make sure the games are removed and anything else that is going to be a distraction for the students. And it gives me a nice uh, streamlined Windows XP. And that's it. Thank you very much for your time.